What fascinates me is how do you go from a fertilized egg, a single cell, to a multicellular organism as complex as a human being. We know that the blueprint of life is the DNA and genetics, but how, how do you do that? How do you go from the simplicity to the complexity? And that is, is really inspiring. So when I arrived in France as a postdoc, I was actually trained as a geneticist um, and then decided to work on a process that affects the X chromosome. In females, one of the two X chromosomes becomes silent. All the genes on the X chromosome become switched off during early development. And this process is X inactivation. We're kind of focused on MECP2. When we discovered that the X chromosome is inactivated and then reactivated and then inactivated again during early development, that was a very exciting moment because it showed us that you can reverse the state of a cell by adding just a cocktail of a few factors. What's wonderful about the X is that you always have the active X as your control. It also opened up a whole new area of research to try and understand how genes are regulated because sometimes epigenetic processes go wrong in some diseases such as autoimmune diseases. Some years later, the discovery of TADS, topologically associating domains, really opened up a new area of understanding genome organization, but also gene regulation. And so this allows us to understand where things might go wrong. When a gene is not expressed properly, for example, in cancer, where we know that genes are aberrantly switched on or switched off, what are the sequences that are responsible for that aberrant expression? So this is a nice cell. Here yeah. we have uh, our inactive X chromosome. So it's helped researchers and medics understand where to look in the genome. And so now there is a hope that with what we call epidrugs, some cancers and other diseases could be treated by reversing epigenetic changes. When I became Director General at the EMBL, I really decided that I was going to somehow help European science because I'm Greek, British, French, working in Germany. So I'm a profound European. But as the Director General, I have a mission to try and come up with a new program for the future. And I realized that this is the place where we can take on the challenges that we have today, I would say, on a planetary scale. Because if we don't try to move things forward, what are we here for on this planet? 